It is always such a privilege to make music with one of Chicago's most treasured artists, Elizabeth Bucheri. We've chosen three selections that should give you a glimpse into the range of projects that it's been my great joy to record for Sabi Records. We'll begin with an aria from Divas of Mozart's Day. Released in 2002, it received absolutely stunning international attention. The disc features never before recorded music by Mozart and six other world premiere tracks, uh, a period of instrument orchestra, which helps transport us to 18th century Vienna, where Louisa Villeneuve commissioned this aria from Mozart in 1789, not very long before that's all we got. Uh, he inserted this aria at her request in the composition, the opera of another composer, which was very common at that time, Vicente Martini Soler's opera, The, uh, the uh, Good-Hearted Grouch. <laughs> uh, the, this is a mini mad scene at the beginning. Where shall I go? What if the heavens have no pity? And then it resolves into a brief but absolutely amazing little aria. Love, guide my steps and remove my doubts. <coughs> oh, this would be nice. Jim, extra pay.
I recorded my first solo recital album for Sadie with the very ambitious goal of surveying romantic song literature. We fit 25 songs by 25 composers in seven languages onto that disc. This gem by Rachmaninoff is set to words by Russia's most beloved Pushkin, who describes a young man and his very personal muse. Opening and closing piano figures describe the muse's flute, which she teaches the young man to play. As he masters his lyric art, the richer textures may remind you of Rachmaninoff's preludes, now using the voice as an obbligato instrument.
very much. In 2006, Betty and I recorded American Songs, a recital of all living composers. Alas, Lee Hoyvie has since passed away. Featuring the magnificent cycle Dove Sta Amore, which is actually in English but has an Italian title because Lawrence Ferlinghetti wrote the poetry, by John Musto. But Chicago-born poet Maureen Flanagan and Chicago composer Bob Bowker really stole the show on that disc. In this song, which is full of charming innuendo about games and secrets and love, all set to a tango. <laughs> Thank you. 